So, sequence logos is a very efficient way of finding patterns, or showing and displaying patterns or signals in sequences. So basically, you start with the multiple sequence alignment and you try to express it in a nice way. And you do that by highlighting the, the parts that are conserved. And you do that by calculating what's called the entropy, the Shannon entropy of the sequence. So for each position, it's basically the entropy is high if it's conserved and low if it's not conserved. So it's, it's the same type of entropy as discussed in physics, you have entropy. High entropy is when it's ordered, and low entropy when it's disordered. So we want, what we want to achieve is basically something that Shannon is invented. So we want to ca ca have, uh, we want to define what's called Shannon entropy, which is yeah, basically the sum over all probability to find something times the log of that probability. And normally use log to log two of them. So basically, you want to compress the information as much as possible. So basically, if, if of course, if uh, you're asked to have two states, you will have a general entropy that are like that. So basically, if it's one or zero, the general entropy is going to be zero. And if it's 0.5, it's going to be one. And same that we have more states, of course, it's not going to be perfect like that, but it's going to keep going. So, and then of course, so basically, if you have fit potential to be in, so basically, you have high, most information is either zero or one. Unless the information is 50 50, because then it's random. So, basically, if you then do a plot where the height of a letter or height of a position depends on the information interface. If it's perfectly conserved, if you have if you have log two and it's perfectly conserved, you have two bits of information in. in Composition, and then you actually do one for the trick is that you actually divide this height into the uh, frequency of each of it. So do is nucleotide in that position. So if it's ninety percent uh, T's, you have the height of T that's ninety percent, and you have an A that's ten percent. That's it. So if you take forty G's tata sites, you will have this pattern. So you see that A is in this case completely observed, but the T in the surrounding it are slightly less conserved and next next A is slightly less conserved. But you also can see that in position two and three here, you actually have some information also. It's better than random, because the random will be zero. So you have some preference to have A and T instead also. And there is even in position three there seems to be some information to have a C there. Or another example is uh, initiation codon, AUG, in uh, some uh, human mRNAs. But MR AUG is an excluded here because it's perfect. But you see that also in three steps before you have some Information that should be more likely to be an AG. We have very little information, and then step before you see, and next step you have a G. So you have some nuclear information there. You can read more about it on this Wikipedia page down here. And you will do a lab of this in the uh, later today. <laughs>